Welcome to our Honeypots module. Honeypots are systems that emulate production systems, but they do not contain any actual data or services that would be valuable to an attacker. These systems do appear to be actual targets to attackers, and they are generally easier to attack than your actual secure systems. They will have much more open ports and running services than your hardened systems, and they will often have known vulnerabilities. You place these devices in the DMZ or demilitarized zone in order to distract your attackers from attacking your actual systems and also watch the attackers as they proceed through your security systems in order to determine how they attempt to attack your systems. Once you see how these attackers are trying to get into your systems, you can then make sure that your production systems are not susceptible to those types of attacks. Some honeypots will try to keep attackers inside them as long as possible and are known as tar pits or sticky honeypots. Honeypots can also help you to discover zero-day vulnerabilities that you may not have been familiar with with your production systems. A honey net is two or more connected honeypots attempting to simulate an internal network. A honey token is not a system but a single component such as a file that generates an intrusion alert when it is accessed or manipulated in a certain way. And a padded cell is an isolated environment which emulates a part of your internal network but does not actually have access to your actual network assets. It is different from a honeypot in that the attacker is transferred to the padded cell after they attempt to attack one of your actual production systems. You have to consider enticement versus entrapment. Enticement is legal and considered to be ethical, whereas entrapment is illegal and unethical. If you configure a honeypot, this would be an example of enticement. It is enticing an attacker to attack the system, but you have not taken any steps to force the attacker to do that. An example of entrapment would be setting up a honeypot and then telling one of your employees that there is a valuable unprotected system on the network and then attempting to have that employee arrested or terminate that employee when they attack that system. That would be considered entrapment because you took an action to make that employee do something they would not have otherwise done. Even if your conduct does not rise to the level of entrapment, you still may not be able to use the evidence in court because there was no valuable assets affected since honeypots are actually fake systems that do not have any real value to your organization. If your honeypot closely mimics your production systems, you may be providing your attackers with valuable information that can let them attack your actual systems once they determine that they are inside a honeypot and not on your actual network. You should know the difference between enticement and entrapment for the CISSP examination, remembering that enticing someone is legal and ethical, and entrapping them is not legal and is also unethical. This concludes our Honeypots module. Thank you for watching.